Just knocked it up to pedal assist number four just to get us up this hill. Wow. It's uh <laughs> it's amazing really what it can do for you to get you up a hill. It's going to be an easy job on that. I'm going to give it a go. We're already in, oh, we're just on normal mode at the moment, so I haven't got any pedal assist on at the minute. Uh, and we'll give it a go. You've got your phone in case you fall off and I have to come and dig you out of a ditch. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. I'm Good. fine, I've got a crash helmet on. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. health and safety. Save you from a broken leg. Okay, I'm going to put it on, actually, I'm going to put it on pedal assist straight away, see how it starts me off because we're going up a hill. Might as well go for it. So I switched it to pedal assist mode one. Okay, okay. Go. I'll be Enjoy. Back in a uh, couple of minutes. Well, that was pretty straightforward up a hill. It's going to take a bit of getting used to, I think, with the gears, because you've got gears and pedal assist. I'm going to knock it, knock it up to pedal assist number two now. Oh, that wasn't needed because now we're going downhill. So I'll uh, put it back to number one again. Test the brakes. Pretty good. There we go. Needed setting number three. And we're away. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I've put the left hand gear to number two and I'm in the right hand gear is on number seven. Okay, let's do a bit of off-road. Pedal assist number three. 
Just knocked it up to pedal assist number four, just to get us up this hill. Wow. It's, uh, <laughs> it's amazing really what it can do for you to get you up a hill. That's brilliant. So we're going downhill, obviously I'm just cruising downhill, not bothering to uh, pedal, obviously. <laughs> five now, five mode. Which is I think the top mode got us up that hill really easily. Okay, we're in pedal assist five going up here. This is quite a steep hill. I'm going to knock the gears down, see if that helps. Very good indeed. Just wanted to point out the reason I'm using the word pedal assist is because this bike, the Elliglide M1 Plus, also has a throttle, but that will obviously mean that you don't have to pedal. Well, that was the first first ride out on the Ellie Glide M1 Plus. Yeah, hopefully some of the footage got picked up and hopefully some of uh, my voice uh, got picked up when I was uh, riding there. Did get to quite a good speed, so not sure how much of my voice will get picked up. But first impressions, really, really nice. The motor kicks in straight away. As soon as you start pedaling, the motor kicks in. I was only on pedal assist. I was only using that all the way. There is also a throttle there as well, which I haven't got attached yet, but they're gonna give that a try. The throttle, I assume, means that you don't have to pedal. You just pull the throttle on and go. Haven't tried it yet, but will. But the pedal assist side of it, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, worked really, really well. So, uh, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get on with some other jobs today. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you in a little bit. So good morning everyone. So today's the next day. We put the Ellie Glide together yesterday. It was pretty straightforward. It took about two hours, I would say, maybe to put it all together. Um, took it out for a little bit of a test drive in the afternoon once it was uh, once it was organized. Today's the next day, as I say, we're gonna take it out for a slightly longer ride today. I'm gonna bring the camera with me and show you a little bit around here. Um, maybe take a few photographs along the way. Okay, so let's go. See in a bit, Maxie. See you in a bit. That's nice. <laughs> So at the moment, I'm just trying it in normal pedal mode, but we're coming up to a, a little bit of a hill. So I'm gonna see how it takes us up this hill. Okay, so I'm gonna kick it into pedal assist now. There we go. Whoa, I can certainly feel that kick in. Okay, so that wasn't a bad hill. Um, quite a steep hill and I had to go into pedal assist number five to to get me up but it worked it got me up really really well actually I was really really quite impressed with it um, but I just thought I'd stop here just to show you a little bit of the view absolutely beautiful it's about um, I think it's about quarter to nine in the morning at the moment so I'm out before breakfast before it starts to get too warm out here and uh, yeah, just shot to show you a little bit around, around and about. Okay, let's go. So here we are then at the next village. This is quite a large village compared to ours. This, there's a little like camper van park up area here or for camper vans like overnight parking uh, which is pretty cool actually so we'll go onwards uh, there's actually a church there what I'm going to do is uh, oh right on cue
beautiful love that sound so yeah there's a church just there um i'm gonna go and get some photographs uh yeah let's go and give that a go Okay, off again. Just thinking there, the pedal assist kicks in really well when you're just uh, when you're just starting off. If you're starting off on a little bit of a hill or something, you know, really, really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go around the other side here, see what the uh, view of the church is from this side, and see if there's a few photographs here. I think there may well be. So taking some photographs in this morning light is so much nicer than taking it in the afternoon when it's really bright and shiny. It's quite difficult to get a to get a good photograph uh, when it's bright like that. Uh, just look and see what's around here. <laughs> well, it's nice to have a look. So I'm going to see if I can get a couple of photographs of this here. Now we've got some nice trees just here and the cross behind. Uh, yeah, see if I can get something there and. Uh, yeah, okay, let's give that a go. So I'm really enjoying this little bike ride out. I think I've only been out for about half an hour or so. The bike is doing fantastic, mind. It's making this ride really simple. I haven't ridden for years probably five years. Interesting fact, well it's interesting to me, <laughs> was that I did start off a YouTube channel uh, about cycling and going out and taking photo photographs whilst you're cycling. The photograph part of it didn't really get a look in but the, uh, the cycling part did because I loved it so much that I thought I wanted people to enjoy this out and about experience of just getting out on a bike, wind in your hair so to speak and uh, just enjoying being out in the fresh air. Uh, I'll try and find the channel. It is still up on the internet, I think, uh, on YouTube. Uh, I called it Darren's Cycle Therapy. And uh, I'll have a look, see if it's there. If it's still there, I might might be interesting to have a look. But yeah, I thought to myself, um, yeah, I really did really used to enjoy that. And I'm kind of understanding why again now. Okay, so now it's to decide which way to go. I think I'm going to go back and then go into uh, a little village, uh, the other side of our village now. Uh, so yeah, let's give that a go. And uh, yeah, I think hopefully it'll all be downhill. Doesn't really matter, actually. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's get off. So yeah, I said, uh, the gears and the pedal assist might take a little bit of getting used to, but quite honestly, it's uh, really not too bad at all. Um, I'm kind of keeping everything in the middle at the moment and uh, taking it from there and uh, seeing how that all uh, how that all works. But it seems to be working quite well so far. So that was quite an interesting moment. I had it in pedal assist number five and it didn't seem to be doing anything, it didn't seem to be helping me uh, pedal. And then I got to a slight incline and it just kicked in. It was like the bike knew that I was going up a slight hill and it just went, oh, now you need it. And uh, yeah, and it just kicked in pedal assist for me. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. So we're back on the slightly less travelled roads now and heading back down to our village.
Okay, so that was really enjoyable. I've enjoyed my rides out on the Glide M1 Plus. Absolutely loved it. As I said, it's been quite a long time since I've, uh, since I've ridden a bike, but yeah, I've really enjoyed it. This bike has made it more enjoyable, I think, because it being uh, you know, uh, an electric bike, an e-bike, it's got some really good features on it. I mean, the tires, the tires are lovely. I believe they're called CST tires, uh, really good for all types of terrain. It has uh, front suspension with lockout as well. So if you're going over rough ground, you let the suspension or you, you take it off if you're going over smoother ground. It's got five levels of pedal assist, which you probably noticed from, uh, <laughs> from the video, uh, which is really, really good as well. Uh, really can get you boosted up those hills. On the Ellie Glide M1 Plus, the battery is 12.5 amp hours. Uh, provides power to the uh, brushless motor, which is 400 watts and 45 an of torque, which is really, really good. So you can really feel it kick in once, uh, once that uh, pedal assist kicks in. Absolutely fantastic, really. It has a 12 and a half amp hour battery, which we charged indirectly from solar power. So we put solar power into our uh, power bank and then charge this from the power bank, which is absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice bike all round, really comfortable, does exactly what you need it to do, especially for somebody that hasn't ridden for a little while. I'm looking forward to getting back out on it again, to be honest with you. So thank you very much to Ellie Glide for sponsoring this video and giving us a try of their Ellie Glide M1 Plus. Absolutely lovely check out the links in the description if you fancy one of these um, yeah hopefully we'll uh, show you this a few more times on a few more videos it'd be nice to get out and about and show you a little bit around here uh, and on a bike is the best way to do it for now thank you very much for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one take care everyone see you soon bye bye